Soon after the sun rose at Laurel Park on Saturday morning, March 10th, Limited View had her final workout before her expected next race Saturday, March 17th. Breaking off from the 3 8 pole, the Maryland bred filly worked a half mile in 45 and 2. She worked really good. I mean, she, you know, you've seen her, you can see in the video, she does it so easy. She went a little faster than probably I would have recommended. Limited View is one of 27 nominations to the Beyond the Wire Stakes, and she is one of 15 nominations to the Conniver, giving her trainer, John Salzman Jr., a couple of different options. Well, we're going to enter in both spots. Um, I'm not really all hipped up to run against older fillies and mares yet this early in the year. The first of three stakes wins for Limited View came when she broke poorly and made a long, sustained rally to win the Maryland Million Lassie. You know, I've, there's a few races that you watch that still gives you goose pumps, and that's one of them. I mean, you could have never made me think going up the backside that she was ever going to win. Around the 3-8 pole when he started asking her, I said, well, she'll get a piece of this anyway. But it was it's pretty exciting. Limited view is by Freedom Child, who was the leading freshman sire in the region last year. And with her Maryland Juvenile Philly Championship and Marshall Stakes wins, the very talented Philly once again displayed her dazzling ability. Well, the Juvenile Philly Championship, she ran, she just did it all her own way. I mean, I don't know if it was a lighter class of horses or not, but everything went her way that day. Then the other day, the Marshall, you know, it was a little tougher race, but she still handled it well, sat just off the pace, and he did the same thing. He just sets on her. He doesn't have to reach and get her, hit her, or do anything. Just keep her clear. and and have a safe trip. With a champion in his barn, Salzman is potentially eyeing some very big races this year. Trying to get maybe to the Miss Preakness or something like that at Pimlico, but that's not a definite thing either with the shipping stuff. So, I mean, if I'm going to do that, I'll probably take her to Pimlico and stable there with her for a couple weeks. When it comes to having success in this game like Salzman is having right now, he gives credit to his wife and team behind him. Uh, the secret's all the help, and I mean, I was hoping they would be out here, but they're not right now. If you got good help and good guys behind you, they uh, they make things go really, really smooth. And I, right now, I got good help. My wife, she's running a marathon down in Washington, but um, she helps a lot. She does a lot of the feeding. She stays in the barn, keeps things going straight. But yeah, good help is the main thing.